people welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new here thank you so much for stopping by if you're just coming back thank you so much for the support i really appreciate it so in today's video i am going to teach you a few things on savings this the envelope saving system method so sit back relax and call me mwalimo so tell me how much do you get and how do you plan yourself throughout the month are you the person who is in the group of Ikifika mid-month, you are broke? Past 15th, you have no money totally? Well, today I have a solution for you. So, so I'm going to use 20,000 as the example today. 20,000, if you're getting 20,000 Kenya shillings as your salary, monthly salary. So how do you plan yourself throughout the month? I have a solution here for you. So I have seven envelopes and each envelope uh, will be showing you how much you're going to save within that 20 month, 20 shillings salary range so let, let's do this in the first envelope i have rent in nairobi i'm sure you can get a bed seat of, uh, at six thousand depending on the location you can get at six thousand six thousand five hundred depending on which location is it is for those of you who do not know what, what a bed seat is it is a it is a kind of studio apartment so in apart from the twenty thousand shillings, you can pay six thousand as rent. You can choose to pay more or less, but I'm just going to use six thousand as an example. So the rent money you're going to put in this envelope is six thousand shillings. Assuming at the end of the month you pay rent at in Kenya we pay rent uh, by fifth of the month. So the rent money you will be keeping it in this envelope. Envelope one is rent money. So let's put that, put that aside. That is six thousand shillings. Okay. The second envelope is the transport envelope. I don't know how much you pay for transport every day going to work, you know, commuting to work back and forth, back and forth. But I did a rough estimate. I did 4,500 shillings. That is 150 shillings a day. So say you pay 70 to work and maybe 80 back home, depending on the distance as well. If your if your workplace is closer to your house, the better you're going to save more money that way. So I just did 4,500 so that if you're using uh, the bus, if you're living a little bit far away from the city or from your workplace, you can just be paying 150 bob a day. So don't worry about the lunch part. I'm going to come to that. Just a minute or two. Okay, the third envelope is the food envelope. This is where the trickiest part is. So I don't know how big your family is. I don't know who you live with or if you live alone. But if you're living alone, this will work for you. And it, I think it's even more money if you're living alone. 2,500 a month on food is a lot of money. Because I remember when I when I used to, I was working. I never used to use, I used to survive on bread and, <laughs> bread and strong tea. So if you're living alone, please tell me how you, what you eat and how you plan it. So because I only used to cook in, in weekends, on the weekends. So... That is all I used to do. So for food, you can just buy uh, food in bulk. You go to a wholesale and get all your the food you need. For, so for food, this is a lot of money for food because I'm assuming if you buy uh, rice at, at the wholesale price and all the other food stuff at the wholesale price, you won't be you know you won't need so much money to spend on food so on this food part as well you can cook your food like maybe if you cook you cook at night you pack your lunch and you go to work the next day with your food curry packed lunch that helps a lot it will help you save a lot of money trust me it works it works a lot so for food 2500 i think that is fair enough right i think it's fair enough so let's go on to the next envelope so the next envelope is tokens electricity so for electricity i wrote 500 shillings a month if you're living alone 500 shillings for tokens is a lot of money right it's a lot of money because you, you're not in the house all the time if you're working that is you're not in the house all the time you only like use the you go to, maybe if you're using the instant shower you just shower in the morning and the evening when you're coming back if you have a kettle same as well and if you're going to work so early in the morning i don't know how many people take breakfast in the morning but i never used to do i used to take breakfast at work so electricity 500 bob is quite enough it's it's enough right so let's go on to the next envelope the next envelope is miscellaneous miscellaneous 
pronouncing that is a bit hard but yes the next envelope is miscellaneous that i put i wrote 3000 on the miscellaneous because we need airtime entertainment we need so many things right we need to do our hair 3000 i don't know depending on you how often you do your hair i think 3000 is good money for entertainment and airtime and doing your hair because on airtime i don't know how much airtime you use but airtime really 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 we really spend so much money on airtime right and well it's a little bit tricky but yeah three thousand on miscellaneous plus if you're a guy and you take your girl out for for dates etc etc you can just you know there are places where it's cheap and it's you know just take your girl to a nice place like you know go for a picnic you can cook your own food at home and take her out for a picnic and you won't use so much money 500 i think 500 bob is enough you know sorry if i am burning the picture please come over you because you sana but i'm guessing dates should shouldn't be that expensive right you know the, the thought is what should matter but then again i'm not saying that you you limit you know you're spending on your girl okay this is going to look like i'm campaigning for the girl child but yes miscellaneous entertainment hair three thousand depending on your salary again okay so, so let's, let's go to the next envelope the next envelope is parents you know we cannot forget our parents they have worked so hard for us for us to get to where we are you know and i'm just gonna ask you do you give you how much do you give your parents per month do you even remember your parents even if your parent is still working, please just set aside some money and help her, help them, help him, depending on how many parents, how which which parent is around, which, which parent is not. But just set aside any amount of money and send to your parent. Try as much as you can. And again, I said, depending on your salary range, please just make sure you set aside money for your parent. That is a very, 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 very important point. Please, please let me know. How, no, don't let me know how much you, you send to your parents. Just tell me in the comment section if you send you send your money, uh, you send you send your parents money every month, and that 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 is a very 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 important thing. You know, it's very important. Please just send your parents money. Send your parents money. So the last envelope is the Chama Sako tight envelope. So, I'll ask you a question. Do you believe in chamas? I have been in a chama for five years now. Yes, five years going to six, five years. And this chama has helped me a lot, you know. When you get chama money, that feeling, yani, there's that feeling of, you know, you just sat that satisfactory feeling you get, you know. You have worked so hard for this money. You get this amount of money at the end of the year, you know. I have bought so many things with chama money, you know. I, I can really spot everything. I just point, this is chama money, this is chama money, this is chama money. Chamas are very good. Please tell me, have you ever been in a chama? How did it go? Did it work or it just did not? You know, it, it also depends with who you're dealing with. For, as for me, I am in, in, in a chama with my high school mates, you know. I really thank God for them. Please just get people you trust. Get people you can track. Not, not not in a bad way but you know things sometimes things go wrong when there's money everything it's sometimes it's hard so get people you trust write down what you need to do and ma make sure it is within your within your what is it called or uh, within your range don't struggle so much when you cannot afford okay do what what you can afford so in this envelope there's chama circle and type you can save in a chama you can save in a circle you don't have to do chama if you don't like it because i understand there are people who don't believe in chama so that is totally fine okay i i agree with that so you can save in a circle and another very very important thing you need to do is tithing tithing will open doors tithing will do so much for you you know you'll just find things working out just from tithing Please, just make sure you set even a small amount aside for tithing. So you see in this envelope saving system, you have all your money written down, all your money planned out visually, uh, perfectly. So at least you have something you can save in a month. You can save 1,500 in a month. Don't ever think that there's, th that there's an amount that is too small to be saved. You don't know how much you can save just from saving a little, little, little amounts of money. Okay, so one, one more thing I need to add onto this envelope saving system is... For each of these envelopes, especially the tran transport envelope, when you use money from this envelope, do not mix it with 
the rest of the envelopes. Make sure all the money is put in one envelope so that at the end of the month you might find you might find yourself having extra money in the transport envelope or in the there, there, there are some of these envelopes that are, are, are must do. So like this rent envelope, that one is just a must. You cannot ex escape. You can't escape. Parents, please do not skip the parent envelope. Then the other envelope that you can't skip is the food. But I believe the food you can, you can minimize, maximize as much as you like. But I believe you shouldn't be spending so much on food. Especially those people who like snacking on the road. You know, gonna smoky pasua, wewe huyo. So you can just reduce that, you know, and even if, if you're trying to lose weight, that will help you a lot, trust me. So, the, the miscellaneous, this and transport, these two envelopes, you might find yourself having balance, you know, having extra money by the time you are on the second month, depending on your expenditure again, as I said. So that will really, really help you out a lot. You'll find yourself, you know, you feel organized, you know, and also please just write down write down your expenses just keep track of your expenses write down a week's you know a week's worth of expenses and you will be surprised you will really really be surprised you won't even any you won't know that that is how that's the amount of money you use in a week and you don't have it you no know, you don't know where it comes from but if you write it down you'll find that you use so much money in a week that you could be saving a lot you know so you guys thank you so much for watching i really appreciate it yani i appreciate it so much if you have not subscribed please subscribe and hit the bell notification button tell a friend to tell a friend and i'll catch you in the next video bye